food. Making your own Solar City's IBC tank based biodigester is now easier than ever. Whoa, really? Dude, if you thought it was simple to create your own home or school biogas system before, check out our latest open source design. Perfect for tinkerers, makers, do it yourselfers, and bricklers everywhere. You mean anybody can make one of these? Totally. Like even school kids. In fact, it's like the perfect STEM education project. By STEM, you mean science, technology, engineering, and math, right? Yeah, dude. And I should have said STEAM with A for art, because you can make this into a totally awesome art project. Well then, full STEAM ahead. Tell us how it's done. Roger that. So check it out. First, you take your IBC tank and drill two holes in the top diagonal from one another. The first one is a 4-inch hole for a 3-inch uniseal and a 3-inch pipe. I remember that from the last design. That's a feeding pipe, right? Totally. But we've made it bigger in case you don't have a food grinder. You can also drill a 5-inch hole and put in a 4-inch uniseal and pipe. Your choice, depending on the materials you can get. I get that. And I bet you also cut the bottom at a 45-degree angle like in the last design too. So the food can slide in without getting clogged. Totally. But now we even go up to 60 degrees. Whatever makes it easier. Well, okay. What's next? Well, the liquid compost tier slurry outflow pipe is exactly the same as in the previous build. Located, like, diagonally from the feeding pipe. And it has a hole drilled in the center facing the outside wall, right? Totally. Got it. What's next? Okay. So what's different this time, what makes us really simple in a rad way, is that we now take the gas right out of the center of the tank through the lid. It makes things so freaking easy! So you only have to drill two holes in a tank now? Depends on the type of tank lid you have, but if you have the kind with a two-inch threaded hole in the lid, you're golden! Then all you have to do is get a two-inch male threaded adapter, screw that in, and put an eight-inch long two-inch diameter pipe in that, cap it off with a two-inch to half-inch adapter, pop in an elbow, stick in your half-inch ball valve, and barbed hose adapter, and basically you're done! Man, that's it? Just like that? Yeah. Well, obviously you've still got to put in a couple inches of gravity stuff at the bottom of the tank, fill it with warm water and manure, or some other starter culture, and seal it. But then, after a few weeks, it should start making flammable biogas. And then you can start feeding it your food scraps. And that's it? Well, dude, you can go crazy making incremental improvements. Like, you can definitely put stuff inside the tank to increase the surface area where biofilms can form. Like floating net bags filled with plastic water filter media, or corn cobs, or corrugated plastic pipes. Whatever, dude. But just for starters, putting the three pipes in like this works great. Wow, that's easy. Told you, dude. The rest is just plumbing and figuring out the way you want to insulate and heat the tank. But basically, that's all there is to it. You said in your last tutorial video that if we keep our tanks near 30 degrees Celsius, like the one you built in their basement in New York and one you guys did in a kitchen in Ireland, every bucket of food scraps can give you an awesome nitrogen-rich liquid fertilizer compost tea and up to two hours of cooking gas every day. Is it right? You know it, dude. It's like composting, but with no need to turn the pile and there's nothing organic you can't put in. Grease, fat, cooked food, animal products, citrus rinds, whatever. And you get a completely clean, non-polluting cooking fuel. Beat that! Well, in that case, what am I waiting for? Totally, dude! You took the words right out of my mouth. And that goes for everybody out there watching. Making your own effective biogas system is so freaking easy! What, what are, are you, you waiting, waiting for? for? Isn't it time you made your own food waste to fuel and fertilizer biodigester? Join us on the Solar Cities Biogas Mission on Facebook and put your digester on the map at www.biogascentral.net. Making the world a better place has never been easier.